What up squad, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to make a quick video responding to this comment because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who are experiencing the same thing. So she says she struggles with her mental health. When things get tough, she falls into a deep depression. I can relate to that. Um, she has lost 50 pounds already, but now she feels stuck. She's trying to restart her journey, but she doesn't feel like her mental health is where it needs to be. Um, before I jump into the response, my name is Bricks. If you're new to the channel, I want you to subscribe to this channel. I, I lost 160 pounds about 11 years ago. And on this channel, I try to give you guys all of the valuable wisdom and insights that I've learned during that process so that you don't have to struggle the way that I did, right? It's, it's a way for you to honor the pain in my process. I'm in a position now where I wanna spend most of the hours of my day talking to you guys. Comment below, let me know the exact things that are stopping you from reaching your fitness goals. Give me as much detail as possible, right? Because it helps me when I understand I can create videos and I can create products that serve you in the way that you need. Shoot me a message on Instagram, at Bricks Goes In. I would love to have these conversations with you. Again, it helps me help you. When it comes to depression, anxiety, all of these mental health issues and a lack of motivation, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who can relate to that. I can relate to that. In the beginning of my journey, my mental health sucked. I was depressed. I, I dealt with anxiety. I, I dealt with a lack of self-worth. I was dealing with a lot of emotional trauma. So in the beginning, it felt like this freaking tall ass mountain to climb, right? I wanted to lose 150 pounds. And I had so many failed attempts polluting my mind, right? Zapping my motivation, making me feel like it was impossible. I was so frustrated from the idea of pursuing these big goals. And it, it almost made my mental health worse because I would get excited. We all know this cycle. I would get excited. I would go on a diet. I would throw all my food away. I would start working out six days a week only to crash and burn two to three weeks later. I'm pretty sure a lot of us can relate to that. It wasn't until I decided to change my approach and I, I broke the journey down into small steps. Yes, we wanna lose 50 pounds, 75 pounds, 100 pounds, right? We have these big goals, but it's so hard to maintain motivation when the goal seems so far away. Instead of focusing on the top of the mountain, I said, okay, how can I start to gain wins every day, right? What's the step that I can take today that will get me a little bit closer to the top of that mountain without me focusing on the top of the mountain, right? Because when I focus on the top, again, it, it, it zaps my motivation. So let me focus on the next step I can take. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something that's gonna sound super simple, but by design, I want it to sound super simple. I just started to focus on how I can win each day. What was the step that I can take today? And when I took that step, I celebrated. And I focused on trying to be consistent at taking a small step every day. But what happened was, as I started to take small steps every day, right? A small step for you today may be, hey, I'm just gonna take a 15 minute walk. That's it. That's my step today. I took my 15 minute walk. I celebrated the fact that I kept that promise to myself and it creates this, this positive emotion in my body, right? Even though, even though it's something small, it creates this positive emotion in my body. I celebrate it. And then tomorrow I focus on either taking that step again, right? Which most likely I will for a few days. And then I slowly start to add a little bit bigger steps, right? It's just slightly bigger, not anything too drastic. And then I just let time do its thing. What happened over time is I started to feel more confident because each day I was able to take a small step in the right direction and these steps started to compound. And over time, I started to feel more confident. My mental health started to improve because I started to physically feel better. I'm slowly starting to eat better. I'm slowly starting to see changes in my body. I'm slowly start to, starting to improve my habits, right? This is over a matter of months and years, right? It took me three years to reach my fitness goals, but it was a, a matter of 
reducing the entire journey down. And as cliche as it sounds, taking it one day at a time. I literally took it one day at a time. Now, a lot of us feel stuck because we are in an environment, right? An environment doesn't always mean where you live, right? Your household environment can be mental. A lot of what I'm referring to as our environment is our mental environments, right? We are in households where we may not have supportive spouses or, or the, the culture, right? The way that people eat around us isn't aligned with our fitness goals. And that's why it's important for you to be intentional about putting yourself in a different mental environment. I think we underestimate the power of community. We need each other. As humans, we are designed to thrive when we work together. So if you don't have that support at home, right, even though you may feel insecure, even though you may not feel confident, there's something magical that happens when you find yourself in an environment, right, where conversations are being had about empowering ourselves and bettering ourselves and figuring out how we can improve our diets and, 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 and improve our fitness levels and improve our mental health. Being a part of these conversations is potentially game changing for us. And I know a lot of people feel stuck. I know that feeling. And it wasn't until I started to make friends at the gym who instead of partying on the weekends, they were hiking right? And I would go hiking on the weekends instead of staying up all night and eating IHOP or Waffle House at three in the morning. You know, like I started to connect with people who lived differently than I was at the time, right? And I started to pick up on their habits. I started to feel their energy. I started to join communities online full of people who were, were trying to better themselves. You're, the environment you put yourself in is so important. It's so important. That's why I created my group coaching program. That it, it was the vision because a lot of us, especially us black folks, we don't have that at home. We don't have the support. We don't have the encouraging words coming from the people in our house. Most of us, some of us do, that's a blessing, but most of us don't. Connecting with a group that gives you support, that gives you accountability, that encourages you, right? High, high vibe conversations, you know, reminders that you're not the only one dealing with the things you're struggling with. A lot of us, we like to isolate when we have issues. That's not the solution. We can't isolate. We have to lean in on each other. All right. And I want to help you with that. There's a link below that gives you all the information about my group coaching program. It is the thing that I'm so proud of. I've been working in this industry for, for a decade, and I know that this is the thing that people need. So if you're at the place where you're ready to invest in yourself, and you're ready to invest the time and energy that it takes to make the change and follow the system and follow the blueprint that I laid out for you, then I want you to take advantage of this opportunity. Again, the link is in the description below. Also, please DM me on Instagram. Please leave the comments below that brings me into your world a little bit. What I need to understand what is stopping you from reaching your goals so that I can better serve you. All right. Guys, hit the like button. I appreciate you for watching this. And as always, remember, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So evolve. Peace.